if you need help building your team or selling your coins make sure you head on over to cheapmaticcoins.com for the cheapest prices fast delivery and 24-hour customer support and use code wolf for 15 percent off it is time to take your game to the next level. In today's video, we are going to go over some passing defense for you guys because you already know zones aren't really doing too much in Madden 20. A lot of things you can get away with, you know what I mean? So I'm going to show you guys two defensive plays that I use, and then the third one that I use is going to be exclusive for members only. So if you want to become a member of the Wolfpack, the link is in the description. And it's going to be pretty good setups on that third video that's going to be for members only, man. I'm telling you guys right now, it's one of the best defensive plays you can actually use in the game. And I'm going to show you guys how to properly set it up. But before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content because the patch is coming. You're going to want to know what changes, what works, and what doesn't no more, man. And I'm going to have all that for you guys. Now, I want to give a shout out to the newest members of the Wolfpack, man. We are going to have a tournament. For members only, the poll. I'm going to put a poll out there on the community section for members to vote on if we're going to do Xbox or PS4. So whatever you guys vote on and whoever wins is going to get the tournament first. So make sure you vote. You know what I'm saying? So Dante Stahl, Tyrone Fountain, Sino Chuck, Prosper King, Lorenzimo, 305. I think I said that right, bro. JJ McCoy, Joe Black Montana, and Sean Johnson. These guys are the newest members of the Wolfpack. I appreciate all the love and support from you guys. Now, we're going to be in the New York Giants defensive playbook. Remember this, okay? One of the best playbooks in the game. I want to say Giants and Jets are probably the two best playbooks in the game right now. So if you're going to want to develop a defensive scheme, probably going to come from those two playbooks. So nickel 335, it's classic formation. Just a lot of people don't know how to run it still. I'm going to show you guys different things you can do. And then the cover three version, I'm going to put four uh, members. And that is actually a pretty good defense that you guys are going to want to run. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to take all our linebacker bums out. We're going to take uh, Hightower and put him down on the line because he's our, we want our best pass rushers down on the line. So what we're going to do first is in this position right here where McCourty is, we're going to put Crossing. Now, why am I putting Crossing? Crossing because this guy, he's the fastest, bro. Now, there's another fast cornerback that you can put on your team, uh, but you can't put him down on the line. You're going to have to use him on the outside. But I would, I don't know if I would recommend that probably just leave him out because you need the ratings you need that man adjustment rating and stuff like that zone ratings and stuff like that okay so we're gonna take this guy out we're gonna put now i don't know the fastest out of here i'm not gonna go that far to the depth chart okay this is gonna be up to you guys your your three strong three fastest strong safeties and free safety so right here i'm just gonna put this guy here then i'm gonna take this guy and i'm gonna put another strong safety you're gonna take all your linebackers out bro trust me all right you need speed now i took high tower out of the line which means i'm gonna put him down here on the line right here so I move high tower down, put free safety, strong safeties in the fastest corner uh, behind the line. Okay, so the name of the first play that we're going to talk about is the Tampa 2. Very easy to set up. There's a base setup that you can use. I actually use the base setup whenever I start playing against my opponents to see what he likes to do. And the base setup, the way I set it up is I base the line and press, okay? Then I take Brooks, put him on a blue. And then I bring these guys out like this in this shade outside. Wire triangle right stick to the right. So it looks like this. Okay. Uh, if you have time, you can bring this guy in a little bit. If you want, probably get him off that look right there. And then what I'm using is my vertical hook, my assignment. Now, I know that since I have a cloud flat up there, he'll back up into a corner route. So if I see like, check this out. This is how I play this. Man. I'll tell you guys right now. I, I bait my opponents. So if he snaps the ball and the running back takes off to the flat, I fake like I'm going to the flat and then I jump back up for the tight end. You'll see a lot of people do that. But since if he blocks the running back, then your assignment is pretty much watching this tight end. If the tight end goes on a corner, okay, then you don't follow him. Let your cloud flat do some work. Come back to the inside, wait for something. So if it's like level cell, right? This, this tight end is going to take off for a corner. You come watch the front end. This is our base setup right here. This is the defense we're going to stay in. This is just to gauge our opponent and see what he's doing. Snaps the ball. We're watching this guy inside. Why? All these different guys until we can get an effective pass rush or he throws the ball. Know what I'm saying? So let me walk this through with you. Let me walk through this again with you guys. Base line press. This guy on the blue. Move this guy out. Move this guy out. Shade outside. Okay. Now, if you have time, you probably don't. A lot of the times, you can just leave that corner over there where he's at and then crash outside, slant outside. Now, where, this is, like I said, this is passing defense. If they start running the ball in, you're gonna have to make some adjustments. Probably get out of the 3 3 5. I'm gonna go over a good defensive run stopping, a good run stopping defense out of the Giants playbook for you guys. That's gonna come soon too, as well, because you're gonna wanna know that too. 
Uh, but for block shedding and stuff like that, and these guys to get around for, you know, finesse moves and get them one-on-one -on -one animations, crashing outside is probably gonna be your best bet out of 335. In other defense, it's crash down. In 335, it's crash out. So you're learning something new every day. You know what I'm saying? So boom, watching tight end, corner route, let my cloud take care of that, come back to the B and to the Y route, and that's how I would guard this play. Now, in level cells, I'm talking, you know, trip formations, bunch time, it, it's, it's all different things, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you guys two defensive plays right now. Let's just come back to the same play. In level cell, this is how I would play it. If I see my opponent running level cell, if it levels corner, so corner cell, same shit. All right. If they run this, I'm gonna baseline press, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put B on a blue. So it'll look like this. Now, why am I actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him on an outside quarter, okay? Now you're laughing, Wolf, why are you doing that right there? And I'm gonna bring this guy down. If they're running a lot of levels, uh, uh, uh corner. Now you're like, Wolf, why, why, why are you doing this? And why am I shading underneath? Whenever you do this right here, this guy over here on our right, if you look at Gilmore, he'll stop that corner out from the tight end. Without doing anything, let me just show you guys what I mean. Boom, he's right there with the corner out the tight end. You can jump that, you can pick that if he throws it to the tight end. You see what I'm saying? So let's talk about that one more time. Corner routes, man, bro, these corner routes are killing me. Baseline press, put B in an outside quarter, right stick to the left. Now, if he tries to run that corner route, we throw it, Gilmore's gonna be right there to make a play. Now, depending on the rating and how it works, and you know your user, you're probably gonna scare him into throwing, into not throwing that that anyway. So the way I would play this is base line press, outside quarter right, and then you could bring Gilmore in. So you could bring Gilmore in to have a better advantage on that right there, and then I'll jump down to the user, and then he'll try to throw this, and that's a pick. You see what I'm saying? You don't necessarily need your clouds and your purples to stop corner routes for you, bro. You can use your blues, base line press, put him on the inside. Uh, Outside quarter, I don't know why I said inside. And then just bring them close like this. And then you could, you know, leave it the way it is, shade underneath. And now I want you to watch this side of the field with these guys. When you shade underneath, their zone reactions are a little bit different. Pay attention. They're staying down. You see what I'm saying? They're staying down to watch these BY routes, these routes that are coming inside. So you don't want to make a change with them. Um, what you can also do is, since if your opponent's running a lot of cover, uh, a level cell or a levels corner, you base the line, press, right? B on outside quarter like this, right? And then, you know, you shade it underneath, boom. And then I'm gonna just put myself on a blue and I'm gonna use this guy, crash outside. So all these things you can practice. I'm watching this, I'm watching this, watching this, I'm watching this. Now, you're like, Wolf, the running back, bro. The running back, he is, he is naked. Take it away, take it away. It's all, it's gonna be, let me put this guy on outside. You gotta take it away, man. So what you can do is just man up this guy like this. So it look like this, okay? And now what you gotta do is, since you're shading underneath, you know you got help from Harmon over here on these levels, levels corners right here. Boom, watching inside, watching inside, and then hope that your pass rush gets there. You see what I'm saying? So it is a little bit difficult to try to get your pass rush there, but you can get it there, is what I'm trying to tell you. You can also, by shading underneath, put this guy in, bring him in. Right, you can also just man up crossing and you can man them up to like let's say, mm, man them up to like X, you know what I'm saying? Then man up the running back, just things like that, bro. You can do things like that if you want. And then what you can do is since Chung's pretty much not doing a lot, bring him down, bring him down into the box. So, just in case it's like a run, you can run that there as well. Boom, watching the middle. Boom, 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 here comes the pass rush. Everything is pretty much clamped up. And, and that's how you run that variation. Another variation is this. And this is how I run it on third and long. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is how I run it. Base the line press, X on an outside quarter, B on an outside quarter, okay? Brooks, first I'm gonna blitz all linebackers and put him back on a blue. So it'll look like this, okay? This is gonna be a blitz on third and long. Take uh, A, put him on an inside third, and then you can just man up uh, this guy right here to like A or inside receiver B. You know what I'm saying? So look like this. And then that's gonna be like an all out blitz. So it's like third and long. You can put a, put a clamp on your opponent trying to prevent him from going down the field. So, but that is a third and long setup. You know what I'm saying? Another thing you can do is baseline, play hard flats, man up the two inside 
safeties or, you know, free safety, strong safety. I was going to say linebackers, but since you subbed them out, man them up to the inside, guys. So it'll look like this. There's another setup right here. Crash outside with your pass rush, and, and that's another good setup right here. Then you have another variation where you can actually create a cover three shell out of Tampa 2. Let me talk to you guys real quick about that real quick. So we're going to create a cover three shell. Baseline press, X on a blue, B on a blue, middle blue right here. Then you can cross man the back corners like this. So it'll look like this. You see what I'm saying? You got two vert hooks, and then you're going to use her, the guy that's blitzing. Now, if you're going to use her, the guy that's blitzing, I recommend you doing this right here. Coming down to the line to try to create one-on-ones with your, with your O-lines and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you got cross manning out of the backfield. That's another variation. Let me go ahead and go over that a little bit more slowly for you guys because that was a little bit too fast. So the way I'm going to do this right here is I'm going to create a cover three look with cross manning. Base line press. Take X on a blue, B on a blue. Okay? Left stick up. Middle linebacker or safety, blue. So there's our cover three shell. Now we need to do something with these two guys. We're going to cross man them. McCordy goes to A and Chung goes to Y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to watch B, just like that. Okay, and you can shade inside, shade outside, however you want to do it. And we got vert hooks out there. So if they try to throw something vertical, you can pick that up. But my assignment right now is B. I know he's going to be pretty much the guy that's going to be open a lot in this play. And you just try to lock things down that way. So those are the two plays. Now, the next one I want to talk to you guys about is cover two man and how I set up cover two man. I'm going to show you guys real quick how I set up cover two man. I run this a lot online. And what I do is I'll shade, depending if it's a trip set, I'm shading inside. If it's a tie set, I'm shading outside. And then I'm going to put McCordy on a purple and Chung on a purple. And then what I'm going to do, you can, you have two options. You can either use her Harmon, who's dedicated to nobody but a blitz, or use her the guy on the line uh, on the running back. I will start off with Harmon first, just like that. And then I'll have it set up like this. Okay. And it, this is how it will run. This is where you blend in Tampa 2 with cover two man. Uh, and I'm just watching anything that looks like it's going to be open. So like right there, the B route, I was already there for it. It's the one that got the most separation on the play. So let me talk to you guys about it one more time. McCordy on a purple, Chung on a purple. We're going to shade inside, okay? And then our assignment is to look for anyone that looks like they're going to break free. You know, really fast. Boom, boom. I don't see none. Tight end right here. Breaks free. You got someone coming over here on this side, breaking free. And that's what you do with your user. You got to spot that. So it's a little bit more advanced, but you can still get it to come in. I mean, I actually locked down the, the, the offense pretty good as well. Uh, other things you could do out of man defense is you could actually take this guy, bring him down. So you could actually take him. Check this out, bro. You put him on a, a, a I guess, a, a, a deep half. Bring him down to the line. Okay. And then use this guy right here. This is something that I do as well. I'll put, bring this guy down and then I'll use this guy and then I'll shade outside. Because if I'm using this guy, I can cover the middle. He's got, uh, my man defense got to shade outside and cover the outside. So I'll use her like this, watch anything coming over. Boom, boom. Got a lot of clamps out there. Not a good pass rush though. And that's four man pass rush, but that's something that you deal with. Now I didn't crash outside and I probably should have. So let's go ahead and do this again. We're going to bring this guy down, put him on another blue. He's on a blue, but it's not good enough. Okay, and then we're gonna crash outside, slant out. Uh, we're gonna crash outside or slant outside and then shade outside. Boom, just like this. And I'm watching anything. Boom, B. And you guys get the idea. You know what I mean? So those are the two defensive setups that I wanted to share with you guys. There's a cover three one that I'm gonna show for members only. That one is pretty good as well, bro. So make sure you stay tuned. Love you guys. Peace.